net present value. The investment appraisal is a scientific approach to decision making which investigates the expected financial consequences of an investment in order to assist the company's choices that are made. Net present value is calculated by working out the net return on investment when it takes into account the changing value of currency, so depreciation. It is used as a tool to decide the impact that inflation has on an investment. Now typically you compare this against other inflation predictions. So you do what if analysis, you look at what inflation may do to your other projects or to the same project you're doing and you need to use something called discount tables to conduct net present value. Okay, so I'm showing you now what a discount table actually looks like. You'll be given these in the exam. You will know if you are expected to calculate net present value because you will see these discount tables with different percentages. So 5% inflation, 7% inflation, 10% inflation, and so on. They'll be given to you, and it shows you each year as well. So obviously in year one, it has no effect. But obviously in year two, year three, year four, year five. If you see year zero has been one pound, that's the effect of inflation that those rates would have on one pound. So if we had a 5% inflation rate, it's worth 78 pence in five years' time. A 10% rate, though, means it's worth 62 pence. So that's the apparent devaluation of your currency over a period of time. So, let's have a look at net present value. Right, I'm looking to buy a new honey making machine, as you can see there. And in my honey making machine, what I've done here is I've used a discount factor of 5%. I've got my net return. You've seen that before. I used that in my, one of my previous examples I've used for you already. So I've now multiplied my net return by my discount factor from the discount tables I was given earlier. So I've put my numbers in there. And I'm actually working at my present value, my real value. So you can see there, at first, it has no effect on my initial cost, because obviously the 5250 costs the same, because the inflation rate is exactly what it is. But every year it starts to devalue my project until I total it up at the bottom. And notice that within five years, my honey-making machine, which I forecast to make £3,070, is actually only making £2,000. Seven and seventy-five pound and thirty-two pence. So inflation is taking off basically one thousand pound of my whole project. That obviously can then start to skew my decision making and the tools I use. Now the advantage of using this method is fantastic for the sake of it takes into account inflation. It actually takes into account that damage inflation causes on your project. It's more reliable the longer your investment is because it starts to account for this devaluation of currency. It gives you a precise answer of whether or not you take on the project. However, it tends to be time consuming because you need to get hold of discount tables. It seems more complex because you then start to have to multiply by the discount tables. And again, it's based on a prediction for what you think the discount factor rate will be. That's it. You should now have an understanding and be able to calculate the net present value for an investment decision making tool. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at BBusinessB and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Remember you can tweet me any areas of business you want me to cover in the future and visit my website bbusinessb.co.uk.